hi this is the part 2 of the video uh, i'll be uploading many more questions these are purely uh, real exam questions and you will uh, for sure get uh, some of these in the exam if you clear, if you go through all of my videos uh, those should be good enough to clear the exam i have cleared the exam by practicing these questions and i have also attended some courses etc uh, so in this part of the video we will look at some more questions which will help you clear your concepts and uh, seek explanations to identify the right answers this is totally focused on aws certified cloud practitioner i would request you to subscribe my uh, channel so that you would get uh, in time alerts on any new video drops so before we look at the questions this is a very important thing you you should maintain your motivation should have a strong motivation because a lot of people are already working professionals and they are trying to uh, certify in cloud and build a career in cloud and there will be certain individuals who are students or who have a lot of studies to do so this is something which they are doing in the part time to get certified so motivation is the key uh, please have the curiosity to use search engines like google etc because uh, a lot of free knowledge is available on aws websites okay so these two are key let's dive in to some of the questions so which feature of aws cloud will support an international in this question when we see the keyword international that means it's a global deployment and low latency is the keyword so for low latency global deployment which options we should choose so fault tolerance is just a failover if one if an application is deployed on az and it fails then uh, the failover happens to another az global reach is something which should suppose this cost because it talks about international companies requirements which is a global company and global reach will help you <coughs> maintain the low latency requirements also because instead of just deploying the application in say north america you also have customers in the uk so you can also you do a global deployment uh, in the uk region as well pay as you go pricing will reduce the price but it will not help you with low latency and high availability uh, this is again uh, the link to failover if your az goes down another az is up and your application will be highly available so it has nothing to do with latency so in this case option b global reach is the right answer which of the following is the customer's responsibility under aws shared responsibility model so customer's responsibility if you see patching underlying infrastructure that is not customer's responsibility that is something which is also a, like primarily it is aws responsibility physical security is also aws responsibility because the physical data centers are not accessible to you or the customers patching ec2 instances this is customer responsibility because when you install or when you deploy a ec2 instance if anything needs to be patched this is something which a customer has to take care of and d patching network infrastructure this is again aws responsibility like laying down the cables between the data centers and the az's this is all aws responsibility so option c is the right answer so this question says a customer is using multiple aws accounts with separate billing how can the customer take advantage of volume discounts with minimal impact to aws resources so volume discounts means uh, you you have so many aws accounts if you consolidate the billing so the consolidation is always done as a part of aws organization you have to consolidate the billing so here uh, the option a states create one global aws account and move all aws resources to the account this is not needed the reason it is not needed is this will not help you uh, i mean this can help you consolidate everything but uh, 
if you try to do that then you, you would be losing out on certain set of features so a is not the right option b says sign up for three years of reserve instance pricing upfront this will help you reduce the cost but uh, even if you have multiple accounts and if you want volume discounts so this this will just give you volume discount for your ec2 instance but what about other services you want volume discount for other services also so this also doesn't look to be the right option use the consolidated billing feature from aws organizations this is the right option because you can consolidate everything and get a bulk discount of overall whatever services you have used overall you will get a bulk discount on this one and d states sign up for aws enterprise support plan to get volume discounts this there is no need to do that uh, if you if you are taking an enterprise version the support plan comes free with with it so that is not needed so the right answer is option c so if we look at this question which of the following features uh, of amazon cloud watch logs so from cloud watch uh, cloud watch log perspective a says summaries of as, as summaries by sns it, sns is not used for cloud watch unless you have to send emails then only sns is used if you want to send notifications otherwise sns is not used so this is not a feature of cloud watch log free amazon elastic search service analytics this is also not a feature this is elastic search kibana it's a different service it is not uh, i mean it can be integrated with cloud watch but it is not a part of cloud watch so these two answers are incorrect provided at no charge no there is a billing if you are using cloud watch custom metrics there are uh, there are charges for it for sure and uh, real time monitoring this seems to be the right answer because uh, cloud watch is used for real time monitoring of your services and you can keep logging the stuff and adjustable retention the logs that are kept it is adjustable for how many days you want to keep the log i think by default it is 7 days but you can extend it up to i think 35 days so these two are the right options this question says which of the following is an aws managed domain system dns web service so these are the four options in this case amazon uh, route 53 so this looks to be the right answer because it is used for routing services and uh, and it is it is a dns managed web service but let's look at other options amazon neptune neptune is a graph database graph style database uh, this is particularly used to establish relationships for example in amazon if you are shopping if you can see that if you buy one uh, one one type of uh, pant it will give you suggestions that people who bought this also bought these other products so that is done through graph databases they create nodes and they link the data points so this is uh, uh, the, the dns web service is not a part of uh, neptune SageMaker is a, is a machine learning uh, tool, uh, ML tool. This is this, so this also cannot be the option. This is the wrong answer. And Amazon LightSail. Amazon LightSail. Let's look at LightSail. So LightSail is used to you know build simple web applications. It already has pre-configured stacks like Lamp, Nginx, etc. So Nginx is a load balancer plus uh, it has other features as well. And you can build very uh, quickly some of the websites. So again, this is not uh, related to our question. So in this case, uh, option A is the right answer. So if you see here, uh, I always do is I always use Google to search and go to the AWS websites. Uh, it has free documentation. So here, Amazon 53 is a highly available and scalable cloud DNS web service. It's a DNS web service. So this is our answer. Okay, and you can do a lot of reading here. So like I told you, you can uh, get an overview of the service. You can see the features related to that service. It has all the features listed here. You can see the pricing. You can see the resources, and you can also, uh, you know, see the FAQs. The FAQs I would re request is uh, please try to read the FAQs whenever possible. But this is more relevant to the uh, second level AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. For this exam, if you do a high level re reading, that will be still okay. So this question states a customer is deploying a new application and needs to choose AWS region. Which of the following factors could influence the customer's decision? So if a customer wants to choose the AWS region, which, which factors will influence it? That is a question. Let's look at the options. Remember, we have to choose two options. Okay, In the exam also, 
whenever you get such options like to choose to etc then make sure that you don't skip that so here uh, the first option is reduce latency to users yes this is something which whenever you deploy in a region you would want to consider that suppose you are having an application in singapore and you want users in usa to access it with low latency a uh, good option would be to put this in the north america region and that will reduce the latency so a can be a potential answer let's look at other options the applications presentation in the local language this is not something which is necessary uh, to to look at into because if you have uh, language conversion tools translation tools you can deploy it in any region so this is not uh, a reason for which you will deploy your application in a particular region option c data sovereignty compliance this, yes this is one of the reasons you would uh, look into because your data integrity data security and sovereignty is very important and compliance to the rules and regulations are important so this is something which you will look at uh, option d says cooling costs in hot climates this is not i mean we, we don't care for it because the cooling costs and etc is something which aws takes care auto automatically uh, proximity to customers office uh, for on site visits this is a totally irrelevant and a very uh, you know misleading uh, option so the correct options are so these two a and c are correct options if you want to see what are the regions uh, that aws has so this is the list you have us east 2 us east 1 uh, us west and asia pacific east this is hong kong uh, then you have it in Mumbai, uh, you also have it in Korea, South Korea, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney, okay. in, in Europe, Ireland, London, Milan, Frankfurt, in Middle East you have it in Bahrain, South America you have it in, South Paulo, in Sao Paulo, so on. So here it is asking which storage service? Can be used as a low cost option for hosting static websites. So, whenever you see the word static website, no hosting static website, always uh, S3 is an option for this. You should use this is the lowest cost option. Normally, websites can also be hosted using light sale, but this is the low cost option. Uh, Glacier is used to store archival backup. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database, so it is not used for hosting web, web, websites because you would need a uh, SQL based database for your websites or uh but it is not a low cost option compared to s3 elastic file system it is it is expensive compared to s3 s3 is the low cost option so the correct answer is so this one is this option is correct option d so uh, you can search and see this hosting a static website on s3 this is a low cost option and you can host static websites here you can read more details how to host it so usually at a high level you have to create uh, and add an index document to create these websites and set permissions uh, and then you will have website endpoints exposed now this question is on pricing which amazon ec2 uh, instance uh, price model can provide discounts of up to 90 percent so the, the there can be only two either reserved instances or spot instances let's look at this reserved instances are like if if you are going for on demand no? so reserved instances are cheaper than on demand but if you have a requirement where you do not your service is not critical if a job is running and if it is aborted um, and you don't mind losing time and you, you know, redirecting to a different spot instance so spot instance provides you 90 percent of discounts but uh, it should not be used for uh, hosting critical applications because uh, the moment someone else bids higher than you uh, the the spot instance goes away and you have to again build and take a spot instance so the correct option in this case uh, is d but if we look at uh, other options so dedicated host what is the purpose of dedicated host is uh, the entire hardware will be allocated to your uh, to you uh, for for whatever services you have so dedicated hosts uh, are very expensive on demand is expensive dedicated hosts are the most expensive reserve instances are relatively cheaper than on demand as spot instances is the cheapest one so if you look at this website the amazon documentation you will see the spot instances are available at a discount of up to 90 percent so this justifies our answer let me also quickly show you the reserve instance pricing so here uh, you can go here and you know you can select a region here so for now it is us east ohio here you see that there are multiple options like standard one year term uh, convertible one year term standard three year term so the three year term if you see 
uh, if you see one year term it provides 37 percent 40 percent 41 percent but <clears throat> the three year term would provide more it's 57 60 and 62 and you have options like no upfront so if you go for no upfront then it is um, a bit costlier partial upfront is less costly and all upfront is very very uh, i mean in this case all upfront uh, for it gives you a 62 percent uh, saving so it is cheaper than uh, the first two options now what is it, what do you mean by convertible convertible means uh, you know you can host uh, i mean you, you cannot go down but you can go go higher so if you have asked for like four instances and you have bought four instances uh, in a reserved manner you can convert it to six or eight or ten but you cannot go back to two or four or three which is less than four that is uh, the convertible option okay that's it for this video please hit like and subscribe if you like my videos uh, i will drop in some more videos which will help you with the preparation for the cloud practitioner certification exam on aws